Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for stopping by for today's book. Today's book is Iggy's Second Chance. And it's written by Patricia Paradiso and Laura DeAngelis. And it's illustrated by Jeffrey Mora. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book. Hi, my name is Iggy. And I live in Louisiana with the Landry family. Easton and Evelyn are the parents of Elijah and Emma. And we all live together. Every day, I keep Elijah company while he trains for high school track. I help Emma with her homework. When Easton cooks barbecue, he always gives me a tasty snack after Emma finishes an assignment. Life is good. I love my family. We don't always have the most money, but they always keep my food bowl full. While life has always been pretty sunny, I'm beginning to get worried. Lately, my family keeps talking about hurricanes. It gets very hot and humid in the summer, and the sky gets very dark and scary. Papa Easton has been frowning a lot, so I know he is concerned. When I hear him telling the family that they have to go to a local shelter because a hurricane is coming right through our town, I can tell that everything is going to change. I don't like to swim. Could the house flood? Emma asks. Oh, what do we do with Iggy? Papa says, we will leave Iggy upstairs and come back with him in a day or two. They don't allow dogs in shelters. I am scared, but I know my family will come back for me. After all, it's only a day or two. The next day, Emma kisses me goodbye and leaves me plenty of food and water. She tells me to stay on her bed and curl up in a blanket if I start to get cold. I can see tears in her eyes, and I know this is not going to be good. I can tell when the hurricane hits the house when a very loud thundering hurts my ears and the heavy rain and wind shakes the walls. I usually cuddle with Emma during storms, so until then, I go under her bed. When all the noise finally dies down, I jump out of the bedroom window. I am nervous and run as fast as I can. Maybe I can find my family. After wandering the wet streets, I come upon another dog. After giving each other a good sniff, I find out her name is Rocky. She's looking for her family too, so we will help each other sniff together. Rocky barks a lot, but she's a good friend. She's a tough pup with a lot of confidence. I am glad I found her. I convinced Rocky to come back to my house. Surely the Landrys will take her in too. As I approached my block, my usual walk route looked very different. There was no house anymore, just debris. I began to cry. Rocky accompanies me as I sniff around to find anything from my old life. The only thing left is my favorite bone. It smells like Emma's bed. Thank goodness I have Rocky here for me now. The next day, we begin to look for food. We are very hungry and thirsty. While we are trying to make our way around all the debris, we come across a truck with people in it. They seem nice and even give us treats. It feels as if it has been forever since I had Papa Easton's barbecue. We hear these people say that they will take us to a shelter. My family went to a shelter, I tell Rocky. We are saved! Maybe we'll even get adopted together, she says. But I don't want another family. I want to be with the Landrys. We are taken to a hospital where they give us medicine and lots of shots. The 
there's also a computer chip in each of our necks. The shot hurts, and, and all of this is so new, but Rocky assures me we will see our families again. The shelter takes good care of us, but after a few days, we still aren't back together again with our families. I am so sad that I don't even want to eat. Eventually, we are loaded onto a big truck in separate cages with many other animals. The humans tell us we will be transported to a shelter in New Jersey so we can be adopted by new families. Why were they taking me away from my home? I am sad, but my pal Rocky keeps telling me to have faith. It's a very long, bumpy ride to New Jersey, but eventually we arrive at an animal welfare center. Rocky is right alongside me the whole time. Throughout the journey, Rocky tells me to just keep thinking happy thoughts, because a new family will come along and give us a great home. She says, sometimes you have to go through some hard times to get to a better place. Rocky seems like a very wise dog. She's definitely my rock. After spending a few days in the shelter, a family walks by. A mom, dad, and a teenage girl. The girl reminds me of Emma. I begin to feel sad again. But Rocky tells me to show them lots of love and they will love me back. They let me play with the girl, whose name is Terry, and I love them immediately. Rocky barks behind me and encourages me the entire time. But out of nowhere, this new family takes me to their car and I start trembling. Things are moving too fast. I wish Rocky could come with me, but right after I got adopted, so does Rocky. I'm so relieved that she has a place to go. This new family gives me lots of hugs and kisses, and they feed me very well. Terry even lets me sleep on her bed. My new dad takes me on long walks, and I make lots of new friends. They even have a guinea pig named Emma. One day we will play together, but for now, it sniffs only. I hear Rocky's new family is also loving, and we even get a play date together. I miss the Landrys very much, and I'm sure they miss me too. I think of Emma every time Terry does her homework, and I think of Papa Easton when my dad cooks me a special meal. Maybe one day I will see them again. But until then, they will always be with me in my heart. I hear that they will be able to rebuild their house. But for now, they are safe and living with relatives. Rocky was right. When you think positively and have faith, it can definitely make a bad situation better. And having the support of a good friend like Rocky gave me the strength to keep looking up. Change is scary, but I'm so happy to have gotten a great second chance. The End So what did you think about today's book? Eddie sure went through an awful lot after that hurricane. From shelter to shelter, but finally found a loving home again. And Eddie was lucky to have Rocky right there to help things along the way. Remember, always try to have faith that things will work out in the end. I hope you enjoyed today's book. I want to say a great big thank you to Patricia Paradiso and Laura De Angelis for sharing this wonderful book about Iggy with us. There's one more thing that we always do at the end of every show. Magic glasses. Magic glasses lets me see some of my friends who came to play. Maybe I'll see you today. Magic glasses, that's the way. Show me my friends who came to play. Okay, now everyone smile and wave and let me see if I see you. Oh, I see Marissa and Damien. Oh, there's Hope and Daniel. Oh, hi, Adriana and Tanner. Oh, there's Rebecca and Caleb. Oh, hi, Destiny and Tucker and Kiara. Oh, there's Caden, Riley, Gavin, Mariah. I see a lot of my friends waving at me. Did I see you today? If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Make sure you check back soon, because we'll be adding a bunch of new shows every week. 
make sure you have an adult, click on the subscribe button right here. That way you won't miss any of the fun. Moms and dads, make sure you visit the Storytime Pup website to sign up for our great free giveaways. We have giveaways for books, CDs, DVDs, t-shirts, and other great stuff. Sign up just once and you'll have a chance for all the drawings to come. And kids, don't forget to tell your friends about Storytime Pup. And before I go, here's a great big hug for all my friends. Thanks for stopping by to play. I'll see you real soon. Bye now.